Ministers, Excellencies, dear Secretary General of the Mediterranean Union, Kamel, ladies and gentlemen, spoštovani gostje, kolegi, prijatelji, dame in gospodje, welcome to Slovenia, welcome to Ljubljana, to this special place. And let me first say a few words in Slovenian language and then I will switch to English. Slovenija je ponosna na to, da je med vodilnimi državami članicami Evropske unije, ki ustrajajo na pomembni vlogi kulture v zunanih odnosih. Zato ne preseneča, da je kulturna diplomacija med stebri naših mednarodnih aktivnosti. Že med prvim predsedovanjem svetu Evropske unije leta 2008 je bila pomemben del naše agende. In odločeni smo jo tam ohraniti tudi v letu 2021, ko bomo znova z krmilom sveta Evropske unije. Much will have changed, though, between 2008 and 2021. In 2008, when the EU celebrated the year of intercultural dialogue, a large part of Europe had just removed, from, had just removed their internal borders. European ideals of a unified cultural space seemed to finally turn into reality. Today, in many parts of Europe, on the contrary, borders are yet again being drawn, both physical and ideological ones. Walls are being rebuilt, both within our cultures and toward others. In this context, the cultural and creative sector is taking on a more strategic role than ever. Undoubtedly, it is an important stimulant of economic growth and job creation. But even more importantly, it is the key generator of social revitalization and stability. It is a source of tolerance, inclusiveness, inspiration, adaptability, and resilience. All those elements that are intrinsically linked to the equality of life and significant benefits for the most vulnerable social groups. Consider the motto of this, year's, of this year's Biennale of Industrial Design, opening tonight in Ljubljana. Common knowledge. Is culture not the most tangible, the most experienced common knowledge we can imagine? From the books we have all read, though the musical tunes we all whistle, sorry, through the musical tunes we all whistle, to the movies we like to quote or even enact. Culture is our common, common knowledge, our motivator, and our integrator. The Creative Forum Ljubljana was born out of the same desire for integration. The Western Balkans and Southern Mediterranean are two regions particularly dear to our foreign policy. We wanted to propose a platform that would help strengthen the connections between their people in a forward-looking way. Creativity seems the most obvious choice. And we are delighted that our vision coincided with that of the Secretariat of the Union for the, for the Mediterranean, and that in April last year, we launched this process together. Thank you, Secretary General. The first creative forum confirmed that creativity and was the key to intensifying regional development. It called for dialogue between creative workers and policy makers, as well as for a more structured support mechanisms at the regional level. We are delighted to welcome all 20 countries here today. Creative individuals, entrepreneurs, and policy makers, accompanied by all relevant international organizations that are best placed to guide us through what, through what works and what doesn't work. So I see particular significance in the fact that we were able to bring together decision makers from the fields of economy, foreign affairs, and culture. This is what we call Creative Capital United. Not only cities, regions, and countries working hand in hand, but also sectors finding common ground for breakthroughs, for, for breakthroughs in industry, education, foreign affairs, tourism, information technology, and more. Those of you who had the chance to visit this year's Venice Biennale surely remember its title, 
that on that, the, the, one, the one that unites ancient Chinese wisdom with a quote from Robert Kennedy. Like it or not, we live in interesting times. There are times of danger and uncertainty, but they are also more open to the creative energy of man than any other time in history. Indeed, our common Mediterranean region continues to face many challenges, from open conflicts to migration. Syria is facing yet another intensification of violence. In Libya, the political process has been stopped once again by this year's new military offensive. And on the two-state solution, deepening frustrations are, seri are seriously eroding support in both Israel and Palestine for a political and peaceful path toward resolving the conflict. The Western Balkans has a special geostrategic importance in this context. It is at the crossroads of many promises and threats in the Euro-Mediterranean space. It is of utmost importance to recognize its special role, support its development, and assure its resilience. Slovenia is a strong supporter of the EU expansion process and of both the European and Euro-Mediterranean perspective of the Western Balkan countries. At the last European Council, unfortunately, we were not able to reach an agreement regarding the opening of negotiations with Northern Macedonia and Albania, and I'm very sorry for that. After the formation of the new European Commission, setting clear goals regarding the region will be our priority. Promises should be kept if we are to be serious about the merit-based process. Methodology can serve as a tool on this road, but should not defer the final goal. I see an important challenge and role for the Union of, of, the, for, the Union of for Mediterranean in this process, namely to investigate how to further deepen the integration between the Western Balkans and the South. Let me say a few words in Slovenian again. Dragi prijatelji, gospodin gospodje, najnastale mornarska navigacija okoli nas spominja na enkraten potencijal, ki ga ima kreativno zato, da nas vodi skozi nemerne vode evro-mediteranske regije. Naj bodo te pomenljive zastavice, zgovor na znamenje kulture, ne kot stroška ali priboljška, ampak kot stebra regionalnega razvoja. In conclusion, I would like to thank to my colleagues that organized this forum, to the Union for the Mediterranean for its very precious partnership, to all the forum's partners for their great cooperation and creative inspiration, and especially to all of you who came to Ljubljana to unite forces and jointly, and jointly challenge to see of change. So really thank you for being with us. Welcome to Ljubljana, and I hope you will have some time to explore it. It's beautiful. Thank you.